got a fret hidden right here. My 18th fret is a little bit high. And I want to fix that because I do use this you note know, quite often. So it's possible that this fret is a little bit low because it doesn't hit anywhere else but right there. But if I if I raise this fret, then that fret might hit when I play down here. And besides, it's a lot easier to file down a fret than it is to try to raise one. So my only concern or hope is that when I file this one down, that it doesn't touch these last three frets here. And if it does, I'll file those down too, because this is the only place I have a problem. So. Let me get my files and go to work. Okay. <clears throat> I've got my tape on there. Now I've got these handy little piano string mutes that I'm going to use to raise the strings because I don't want to take the strings off because I need to know when I've filed enough off by trying the string on the fret. So, and I've got to go at an angle this way because when I'm right on top of the guitar here it won't go down far enough. I could come in from this side but I just want to file a little bit under that string and put on some better glasses. <clears throat> Okay, I just want to make a little flat spot right on top here. Okay, try that. That one's clearing it. Still a little bit. Hit this in just a hair, which is uh, going to lower the string. Well, I'll have to file more off of this one, probably, but I just want to just touch that and see what happens. I've got this. <coughs> These glasses here jeweler's glasses that I can look through. I don't know if I can get that lens to see in there. Where am I? What am I looking at? Well, I can't get it to work for the camera. I can get down here and see. We're hitting a little on this one, just 
what I thought might happen. I'll have to file down all of these. So I didn't I'm gonna have to put more tape in these for the sandpaper so I don't sand off my fretboard. So I got this in here so I could get in there with sandpaper. But uh, since I had to do these other frets, I'm gonna have to tape it all up. Okay, I've got my sandpaper. I've got, uh, this one's 400 grit here. You can tell there's a little, little grit. This one just looks smooth. This one's 1500. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over these. I don't know if you can see the, the marks on there. I'll get this camera a little closer. Focus. Yeah, you can see a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just going to go over these with 400 grit sandpaper to kind of round them off. And then uh, finish up with the 1500 to polish them. I'm finished with the 1500 polished them up real nice the 1500 grit sandpaper uh, they look really good take this this tape off whenever you tape up something like this <clears throat> be sure to use this uh, the painters tape that comes off real easy I make a green one called frog tape it's really good uh, if you need one thicker, the frog tape is a little thicker than this. This is really thin blue, but it comes off real easy. And uh, even if you have to leave it for for several days, unlike masking tape, it uh, it's real easy to come off and doesn't leave any residue behind. Okay, there. I don't know if, see I didn't have tape on here. And I've got a little bit of black on there, the 15, oh that came right off. I just put a little alcohol on a paper towel. The fretboard gets dirty anyway if you play it very, very much. And uh, alcohol's a good grease cutter, won't hurt your fretboard. See where I sanded a little bit on that. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get in here and focus. Okay. Yeah, you can see it. Just a little bit right here. Right here. There's a little little dark under there where I kind of my tape ended here because this was the the last fret that I filed so I needed to polish this one and while I was polishing it I got a little bit of the fretboard there but that's okay that's okay look at those they polished up real nice and this one I took the most of right here but it looks really good now let's see what it sounds like. And that sounds good. <laughs> 